Hey everybody, it's Mark Ruggier here, Clark Commando, 1983, and it's January 29th, I believe, Sunday, is that right? Crap, I should have checked. But anyways, 2024, and I'm off a day, just had another round of our Axis Empire's Ultimate Edition. Uh, playing the four-player 1937 scenario. And we just wrapped up the Axis um, May-June 1940 turn. And where have we altered from history a little bit in this scenario? So, let's see here if I can... Go over here, keep in mind it's still not ideal. This is my non-glare plexi. That I'm a big fan of, but I have big bright lights in here, let me tell you. So there you go. The allies still hold Norway, which will have some impact later in the game. We've got the Germans finally struck in France. And when I say finally, you know, they're about right on schedule. Not that France will hold out, but they were only able to get a penetration here and had to wait till the declaration of war phase to declare war on Belgium, Holland. So for now, at least temporarily, they're still in the game. You can see there's a big, uh, big huge Axis army here. This air support unit will go away in the next Axis turn, so no real counterattack or anything going to happen here. Got a little bit of the Maginot line left, but it is going to be the Allied turn. It is going to be a seasonal turn, so we'll get to see what the next card is. I'm going to try to move the camera here just a little bit. You see the Italians still aren't in the war, but I'm sure they're coming. Um, I believe that the Axis card allows them to do some, some more shenanigans. And we're going to zoom back out. It's a wonderful game. The components are top quality. This is my third game. So to those who say it's not worth the money, well, I've gotten... My second four-player game I'm getting out of it, and uh, I think it's well worth it. We're going to zoom out a little bit so you can look at Russia. Still haven't declared the borderlands. We'll see what happens next. Uh, I'm playing the Russians on both uh, Toller Krieg Axis Empires. And then we're going to go over here, see if I can not fall on my cancer-swollen feet here. Keep my butt straight. Um, there we go. And here we are with the Dicensal map. And this is the first time I've ever played Dicensal. So I'm actually having a great time. I'm the Russians. Uh, let's see if I can maneuver a little bit, point out some stuff. Gotta just be nice and careful so I don't fall on my butt and over here of course it will be the same the western allies turn on the soviets but you get the japanese um so nationalist china is a western ally but it's still uh, it's in resistance mode but it's not in the war yet we got the communist chinese fighting for their life against the japanese we got mongolia which is aligned to russia Russia just kind of slowly building up their forces. Um, you've got this country here, Szechuan is you know part of China, and that's aligned to the Western Allies also. Still got neutral, but anyways, I guess I'm not looking at the camera, so I don't know what I'm pointing at. But Japanese attacking, communist Chinese. That's who's in the war. Uh, alternate from history, kind of interesting, is the Japanese are not as far as they were historically in nationalist China, but they're kind of killing the communist Chinese. So that's a little bit different. 
and we'll zoom back out. No, let me zoom in there. We'll zoom back out. And U.S. entry is still at zero. Uh, but we'll see what happens. It's an exciting game. Highly recommend it. And uh, just a quick report out. This is update number three, I believe. And we will continue next uh, Sunday, February 4th. Thanks for watching. Bye.